Hi everyone, Corey Anderson in for Gil Tyree. We begin tonight with the Thrashers who picked up center Rich Peverly off the scrap heap and tonight he's suddenly turned to gold. The Nashville Predators cut Peverly, the Thrashers picked him up and he made his debut in Atlanta on Wednesday and tonight teamed with teammate Ilya Kovalchuk to make a huge impact. Two assists and a goal, that one assist to Kovalchuk and then this, the game winning goal in overtime. The Thrashers come back from a 3-0 deficit, win this one in overtime, 4-3, your final. All right, the Hawks wrapping up their West Coast road trip tonight. How about Zaza Pachulia? Ball inside to Josh Smith. Here comes Pachulia. Thank you very much. And then how about this? More Zaza. You can't stop saying the name Zaza. Early going right now. Hawks have a one-point lead. All right, well, the Braves missed out on A.J. Burnett and let go of John Smoltz, but finally landed a number one starter in Derek Lowe. Atlanta signed the former Los Angeles Dodger pitcher to a four-year, $60 million deal and then introduced him to the media this morning. Lowe is similar to John Smoltz in that he did spend four seasons as a closer. Lowe took the advice of his agent before signing on to play for Bobby Cox. I've represented a lot of people, I've talked to a lot of people, and not one person has ever said a bad thing about Bobby Cox. And, and, and that really meant a lot to me as far as, you know, what people in baseball think about this guy. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers fired head coach John Gruden and general manager Bruce Allen after seven seasons in Tampa today. Multiple media sources in the Tampa area are reporting Raheem Morris will take over as head coach. Morris was recently promoted to defensive coordinator when Monty Kiffin left to join his son Lane at the University of Tennessee. All right, Jake DeLome's six turnovers are a reoccurring nightmare for many Panthers fans, including one at my house. But on the other side, Ken Wizenhut's Arizona Cardinals are ecstatic. The former Yellow Jacket and Falcon leads his team against the Philadelphia Eagles Sunday. It's time for the right to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. All right, don't forget you can see Baltimore and Pittsburgh in the AFC Championship game right here on CBS Atlanta this Sunday at 6.30 p.m. I'm Corey Anderson. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, right. last time I checked. <laughs> Thank right. you, Corey. <laughs> You're watching CBS Atlanta News, and we'll be right back.